Hi, I'm Ashy. Welcome to my January alphabet painting series. So this year I decided to choose a New Year's resolution that I feel like is actually doable. And that is to, for the first six, the first 26 days of the year, to paint a small, quick watercolor sketch that corresponds with the letters of the alphabet. This will help me be disciplined and help me paint daily for this first you know, month or so. And hopefully this will help me also build that habit of creativity and just pulling out the paints every single day. And it's just building that habit of creativity. Uh, let me know if you have any New Year's resolutions that you are deciding on for yourself this year. I'd love to hear your different ideas in the comments. So for each of these videos, I'll be using the brand new sketchbook that I'm starting this year. Um, it's Moleskin watercolor album. It's not the highest quality paper, but for quick watercolor sketches, it does the job. Let's jump in. All right, day nine is ice cream cone. So I'm gonna start by drawing just a cone shape, basically. So again, let's break down our shapes into basic geometrical shapes. So we're gonna start with the cone. And then we're going to put basically a circle on top of it for the ice cream scoop. And then the circle will have just a little bit of a wiggly spot on the bottom where that extra ice cream comes out of the round scoop. And then this is just going to be some drips coming down off of the ice cream where it's melting. Okay, and then we have kind of where the cone gets wrapped around. Okay, and then we'll have that little pattern, the waffle pattern for the cone. So essentially it's gonna be diagonal lines one way and then diagonal lines the opposite way. This is wrapped, so they're going to be a slightly different angle. Um, so I'm just going to make them a little bit more horizontal to give it a contrast. And then the opposing ones will be more vertical. Okay, that should be good. And then just kind of deepen up that line a little bit. To help show that there's gonna be a shadow there basically. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my kneaded eraser and when I use a kneaded eraser, I roll it over my page to lift up that extra graphite without lifting up all of it it just leaves enough of the graphite still on the page where I can actually paint it still. Because you have to be able to see it. Okay, I'm gonna make some strawberry ice cream. So I'm gonna go for a nice pink color here. Just gonna take a nice wash of that pink and go around. And then just kind of lighten it up and blend that out. And 
and then I'm just kind of pushing any extra pigment to the left side here to make that the shadowed side and then leave just a tiny bit of a harder edge on the other side too to show the roundness of it basically And I'm just going to tap in a tiny bit more where it would be shadowed here. And then just a little bit on these drips. And then just kind of going to dot in some texture onto this shadowy side. To create just a little bit of depth and then again just some texture because the ice cream is not completely flat and smooth. It does have some texture. And then I'm just going to take a clean damp brush and blend out along the edge of that texture so that there's not like a hard line where the texture starts and where the texture ends. Okay, now I wanna take just a little bit of this pink and splatter it just to get some looser feel to it. Plus I haven't splattered much over the last couple days. I did on A, I don't even think I have, I guess I did on B some too, so A and B, but I'm going to splatter a little bit more on this left side, which is the side that the cone is dripping on, and then let's get a little bit more concentrated color and splatter that. Okay. Now, to get the cone color, I'm going to come to my palette. I have used whatever color mix this is for a different um, painting during this series, but it looks like a good waffle cone color, so I'm going to use that and just take a nice light wash of it. and paint in that cone. And then I'm just going in and adding a little bit deeper color right under the ice cream and right along this edge where the phone, the phone, the cone folds over itself. And then I'm gonna clean off my brush, dry it, and blend that out into the rest of that space. Okay, and then add just a little bit more color to that. Okay, and then the same thing for 
the rest of the cone where it's folded over. Just kind of touch that. Pull it into that area and then just add in a little bit more color wet on wet. Okay. And then I have to let that dry before I add the texture, or at least dry mostly. I do want the texture to be a little bit of a soft um, feel to it. I don't want it to be super harsh lines, but I don't want it to like just bleed right out into it either. So I'm just gonna use that same color. It's gonna be slightly more concentrated and then just add in those lines. So these ones I'm gonna go diagonal, a little bit curvy to show that it's a rounded object. And then to come up from the other side. Okay. And then just gonna kind of take some clean water and blend it out using a liner blush brush to blend it out. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's okay. And that will preserve the highlight here also because I blended out some of the extra color that I added. And then I'm just going to go ahead and touch in here to get that shadow back that I feel like I kind of lost. Same up here. Just a little bit of a shadow. Now for the other half of the cone, and this one I was doing more of those horizontal stripes for the first layer. And then more vertical for the second. And then same thing, just kind of touch that to let it bleed out just a bit. And some of the areas don't really have to look like they have the pattern at all. In some of the areas it's a little bit more obvious. There we go. There's my ice cream cone. And then we can come back and add in some like sprinkles. So. I'm just going to get some concentrated blue here and add just like little dashes for some sprinkles, trying to vary the directions on them a little bit. Okay. And then same thing with some more concentrated pink. Okay. And some orange. And let's try some yellow. Let's see if it shows up over the pink. 
the yellow is a pretty opaque color when it comes to watercolors, so it might show up. We'll see. Yeah, shows up fine. Okay, and let me just add a couple more dots of blue down here. Kind of. Okay, and there's our ice cream cone. I feel like I want to add some splatters of the sprinkle colors too. So I'm just going to loosen up some of that blue and splatter that in. And then let's take just a little bit of orange and splatter that in. drop in some clean water around the edges there to blend some of those splatters together. Just because it's kind of fun. Okay, now I need to do an eye. So I liked the um, flat brush to make the H, so I'm gonna do the flat brush again to do the eye and I'm going to do like a turquoise blue color for this one, so a little bit more on the greenish blue side. Okay. That's not turquoise, but that's okay. I like the color, so we're going to go with it. And I... is four. This is just gonna be ice cream and I think I'm gonna do it on two rows because I don't think I'm gonna have room. So I'm gonna do ice cream here. So calligraphy again, light up, heavy down, and then the C is heavy down, light up into the E, E is heavy down, light up, ice, and then cream. So C, R, I said I was going to do two lines and then I didn't. Okay. And I'm angling down. Uh, these longer words. Cream. There we go. Okay. Ice cream. It just, these longer words I just angle down. I need to pay more attention. Okay, well, I meant to do two lines. So, I is for ice cream. I do like my ice cream a lot. But anyway, uh, the word, not so much. The ice cream is very cute. So I is for ice cream. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to see when each of my new videos drops. Have an awesome day.